Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Atomic Mass Transmissions Live. Today, we're painting up the uh, Trident for X-Wing. Um, I decided I wanted it to look a little more derelict, I dare say. Um, so what I've done, get your uh, pens and papers out for this. We're gonna switch it over to mini cam in a moment. I'll give you some preliminary, like what I did, and then we'll start rusting and busting it up. So let's kick it over to mini cam, cause that's the fun cam. That's where all the fun stuff happens. So you can see I got the Trident. And this has been, I reprimed this black. So I just straight over black primered this. And then I used an airbrush, you don't have to use an airbrush, to paint it all silver. And then the most important part of this step was I then used a dull coat to seal in that silver. Um, part of the technique I'm gonna be using uses uh, hairspray and I'm gonna be removing some of this paint. So we need that, uh, we need that dull coat, just uh, some really awesome uh, name brand dull coat that you can get anywhere, seal in that paint. Then you let that cure and I hit it with hairspray and I let that hairspray set and then I airbrushed the red over top of that. This is a little bit different red than the red that you see on the regular Trident. Um, I just mixed something up that would look kind of cool and interesting. Um, but the reason you do this is the hairspray is water, like it doesn't like water, the hairspray doesn't. So I'm gonna put, I'll show you what this does. I'm gonna take a little water. And I'm gonna put it on there. And then I have this really nasty brush it's it's fairly soft bristled and i'm gonna start dragging it now what ha what's happening here is the hairspray does not like water so with the very thin layers of you can see even with a, just a damp brush, I can start removing paint. With a very thin layer of hairspray, or with airbrush, the water gets down there, reactivates the hairspray, and just lets you rip that paint right up. So I'm just gonna do this all over to start building in my rusty look. I'm not gonna go too rusty. I guess just want to look beat up and with the red paint job I decided to stay away from pure rust because rust is red plus it's space it's not like you're getting water but I just wanted to look pretty scuffed worn beat up old Another cool thing that you could do is like if you were to maybe throw on um, some freehand, maybe maybe like some call signs or code numbers, you could paint that on as well. And then use the same technique to start removing and scuffing up those paint jobs as well so this is a great technique just to add weathering to any vehicle this would be great for your Star Wars legions vehicles maybe that new a5 would look awesome all beat up and rusty and for something like that what I would do is lay down prime black and then lay down a silver and then coat that with the uh, 
still coat. And then I would go back and put a layer of rust over that so your browns and stuff like that over top of that. And then hairspray over that. And then that's when I'd lay in that like rebel, that rebel tan khaki off-white color. And then you could start scraping that away. The nose of this should be pretty, pretty beat up. Oops. Kit bashing. I think John's done some kit bashing. He's in the chat. He can answer that. Could be cool. I do love a good repaint though. Um, painting challenges. I like that idea. Some X-Wing painting challenges. I'm just going to scrape wherever, wherever kind of tricks my fancy, basically. I want that top a little more silver, like that. Another thing, if you have... Um, if you need a detail, you can use a toothpick. Toothpicks are just soft enough. You can scrape away that paint after making it, wetting it with your brush. I'm just using an old brush. Throw some water on there. That might be a little too much water, but it'll survive. And if you're looking for a tool like this, you can get these at like hardware stores and stuff like that. Are great places to find little fun tools like this. So moving in a very particular direction, I want it to feel like stuff is run across the hole. Really give it that. Stuff has hit it while it's transversing the galaxy. Sometimes I let the black come through too, the black primer. Sometimes that's just nice. Okay, keep moving around. Dampen it and scrape. And then what I'm going to do is after this dries and gets ready, see you can also just not, I put a layer of uh, brown under there. You can leave it like that or you can go all the way down to the silver like we're going to do here. By just going a little further. Then leave a little black showing in places and you get like this nice, variation and 
what's happening on the miniature. Gives it more life. Let's see if we get enough light on there. Let's try that. Just scrape the red away. I'm going to focus on forward edges and edges in general. That's just a general philosophy for weathering. Edges. Um, think about where damage would occur and try to mimic that you know if you're looking at a you know say an ATST you're gonna get more damage at the feet than at the top so you want to put more damage there and then like something like this ship you're gonna get more damage in the front less on the back these are going to be damaged because this is the attacking uh, mechanical bits but you're not going to get so much damage like you know back along this ridge so think about where damage would occur and try to mimic that I mean if I was painting your car at her next, then yes, that's where I put the damage. Stamping that down. Start scraping that paint. I want to get rid of that red. I got, I got a little overspray. I just, I just. I just used the hair, the airbrush and just kind of got in there. I didn't mask it off or anything. I don't mind a little overspray sometimes, especially on something like this. Is just going to get all weathered up? This is for X-Wing. This is the X-Wing uh, Trident. So that, get more silver. Should be wearing a glove, maybe. Nah, whatever. It's fine. A little water. Just pulling it back away from my eye to see. Let's take a paper towel. Just use this to dry it up. So this will also pull some of that paint up. Which 
is from the inherent water. on these areas. Start scraping that paint. that up and let that water get in there. Just like that. And we're gonna come back with a wash to like re-accentuate all these panels and divots. And uh, we're gonna do some different color glow. The, the studio glow is yellow, but I think it'd be cool to let's do this in green. So probably not gonna weather the whole ship today. We'll see where we get, because I like to get to some of the other areas. See where that is? Just use that water to pull that red right off that silver. Bring that silver back on that trim. Just keep scraping wherever you want. And you can go as much as or as, or as little. You can add layers so you could do this and then seal it with a dull coat and then hairspray it again and do another layer that you remove. So you can play with like lots of cool effects on with this technique. And there's another weathering technique that I didn't feel was appropriate for this scale. Um, you know, with X-Wing being a very tiny scale, it doesn't quite work the way I like it. I'm sure somebody's used it to effect. Um, that person's not me, um, but you can use, there's a salt technique where you use a little bit of water over top of a rust layer to adhere a large grain salt. And then you, hair, uh, then you uh, airbrush over top of that and you scrape that away and the salt falls off and it makes little chips. It looks super, super cool. Okay, I want to make sure this is dry. We're just going to start with this top layer. We're going to go ahead and... It's pretty beat up. But we're going to get to some other... We're going to get to some other things. Let me see here. Let's go ahead and do one of these winglets. I like these little winglets here.
Just get some of that silver back. That front edge, of course, like we talked, the front edge of things catch a lot of damage. So, of course, if this is traveling, you want to hit that front edge pretty good. The silver we can actually just use the brush what that doing it's going down penetrating the layer of brown paint that's been airbrushed on reactivating the hairspray not reactivating the silver because that protective layer of dull coat and then we can just pull that brown paint off and we get our silver back for our edges. silver right there Oop, paper towel all right so we're not going to get through the whole body so let's start some of the other processes let's pull this aside And I have some washes I made up. So let's take an old brush. I don't need that yet. Let's go ahead and start with. So I mixed up some black wash. And this is black paint, black ink, a little water, a little medium. I don't want super intense, maybe a touch of brown in there. Something like that. It's too much, too thick. I want to reclaim that silver by putting some of that black wash into that silver areas. And that'll give that silver area some nice shading that we've lost from the airbrushing and stuff. This is silver down in these. So bring back that shading. A black wash in there. Now, a little bit of brown just adds some warmth to that. Ties all together, makes it look dirty. Which is the goal here. You want to derelict dirty ship who knows what kind of scummy pirates have been utilizing this thing 
for their own nefarious deeds and purposes. This whole engine. And drill bit. Just a nice heavy black wash. Over top of that. And then I'm going to use this as well on the flexible portions to bring those back to black. Like so. Now define those portions from the rest of the ship. Then I use the brown ink by itself, or brown wash. Some red in there. I'm gonna put this over our red panels. Just to start bringing back the panel lines, add some shading. I got two different browns here I just mixed up. One's a little more red than the other. So just playing with them, seeing what I like. like this. If it's too thick, add a little water. I'm just trying to get in the crevices to bring that definition back. in the little crevices, make them nice and poppy. Will we see me paint another ship in the future? Who knows what the future brings? I'm always happy to paint and try new stuff. Hopefully give P 
people some inspiration and confidence to maybe try something new themselves that maybe they haven't tried. It's always fun. It's always the goal. A yeah, hair dryer so I can dry this wash. All week it's been hot here in Seattle. Not as hot as everywhere else. Not not dismissing what's happening everywhere else. Got some friends back home that was like, whoa boy, that was real hot. And friends in Nevada that was really hot. But it's been hot here for us. And yesterday I was trying to paint. Everything was just drying out. Just drying out. And then today, I'm actually on stream. And once I only have an hour and I want it to dry out quick. It's too... It's too... Uh, it's actually a little cool. Today. So nothing's drying out. Quite the conundrum, quite the conundrum. Repaint the Super Star Destroyer from Armada? Yeah, that'd be a fun project. I have one of those in my closet, actually. I don't have a place to, I don't have a place to display it in my apartment. But there's definitely one in my closet. That thing is awesome. If I were repainting a Super Star Destroyer, we'd have to give it a name. It needs a fancy name. All right, so you can see this is starting to get grimy. We got that metal shining through the reds. And then I want this to dry up because I want to, uh, we're going to want to dry brush it. Hang it from the ceiling. Yeah, I love it. Could I paint, could I paint it in an hour though? I don't know if I could paint the Super Star Destroyer. I don't think I can paint this as, this in an hour. Actually, as a matter of fact, I know I'm not going to be able to paint this in an hour. We're going to get some. What paints am I using? I'm using some Scale 75 and I, that's some Artist Titanium White I just pulled out. So a little bit of, this is uh, Lilith Yellow. I'm gonna mix that with some Titanium White. I usually use a wet palette, but I don't have my wet palette out. We're gonna let that dry. I'm gonna have to be real careful on this eye, but I want to paint the eye just to just to paint it today. And this does not have to be perfect by any means whatsoever. I'm just using this titanium white and yellow to go in there and reclaim the eye globes. I 
And what I'll do, I'm not going to do it now because we still want a dry brush. But I'd go back and I'd redo all these little nodes with the same color. Oh yeah, I, I agree with Schaefer. Like, um, stories and narrative stuff, super fun. I love that kind of stuff. As is always. We do all kinds of games uh, with my little local group where we just, we just make up nonsense rules. It's like, that's not covered in rule book. That doesn't matter. We'll make it up. Do a little silver. Get that out and ready. Not quite ready yet, but. Needs to dry quick. Needs to dry quick. You know what, while we're drying, let's go ahead and start scraping some more paint while we wait. Let's do this panel. Just a process, right? Just seeing what we can get done and working our way through it. Whatever we get done today, we get done today. Maybe we get a little bit, maybe we get a lot. Release the budgies. Is that a old? Is that a? Is that a personal question? Like, or like professional question? Because if it's a professional question, we don't talk about releases. That's too close to, too close to release kind of question. For me, you can't trick me. Oh, something I'd love to repaint. Yeah. Uh, for X Men, I think I think it'd be fun to do something like. I mean, uh, there's you always kind of want to do the Millennium Falcon, right? Repaint the Millennium Falcon and kick up the glow on it. You know, get some cool star fields on the windshield. I call it a windshield. There's no wind, but you know, something like that. I mean, that's always something fun that you kind of want to redo if you're into repainting. I love tie bombers. I think uh, I, I just love the look of a tie bomber. I think that those things just look so cool. Interceptors are pretty cool too. All the actually all the ties, like all the different tie variants, I think I think are just such a cool looking ships. Okay, we're just scraping this up while we wait for paint to dry. It's the most fun in painting, right? Waiting for paint to dry.
Oh, that released the budget. That's an interesting question. Do you know what? I, let me look at those later. That's an interesting question. I'd have to I'd have to look at them actively and maybe come up with a plan. Oh, that's a great scratch. Sometimes, like this little random, this 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 thing just creates like nice little random nonsense scratches, and sometimes it's like just the perfect scritch. It's like ah, just the shape is just very nice and aesthetic. All right, do we think that that white is dry? Probably close enough. Let's start, let's start putting in some colors in it. Let's go with this floral color. Yeah, I think Shaver's got some good ideas there. Like push the glow, push the black. Oh, that is not dry. That is not dry. So we're just gonna keep scraping. Being, being a little more careful than I should probably, but. Let's weather the heck out of that panel. Sometimes you scrape it, loosen it up, hit it with water one more time. Let that water get down in that hairspray and start working its magic. And every now and then, once you get the hang of it, there's that little bit of metal showing on that wire brush. On that, it's a soft bristle, bristle plastic nylon brush. Uh, but every now and then, I use the actual metal and just scrape it. Sometimes you just want to get a little more aggro. This thing is seeing better days. Who flies in this? Let's tell the story. We're all about story here at Atomic Mass. Who do you think has captured this trident? Where should I build this around? I need a theme. My derelict trident still in use. Who's using this? Look, anytime somebody says Hondo Anaka, I'm 100% like Hondo Anaka because Hondo is the best. Hi, 
Hondo, I don't want to kill you. And I appreciate that. I've, I've recently become, recently this year, uh, made it all the way through all of Clone Wars and definitely was taken by Hondo Anaka. Oh, the Mando needs a new ship. I think the Rebels crew steal a lot. Yeah, he needs a new ship. Loosen up, paint. Loosen up. There it goes. Use that second brush to pull that old paint out of there. Just keep working it. Insolence, we're pirates. We don't know the meaning of the word. Just the best. I can see this being a Hondo Naka ship. Yeah. Maybe that's my story. I have to figure out some way to mark it. Now, I won't have time today, but maybe that's what I'll, maybe maybe we'll maybe we'll put a maybe that's the cone art we put on this. Maybe we'll paint a little porg on it. And get behind it. Pagani just got excited. He doesn't even know why, but he's just like porgs. Uh, see, release. We, we were on, we were on the same page. We were we were of one mind. Are you Pagani? Oh, I like Porg with an eye patch. He's a Porg pirate. Somebody just knocked on my door. It's probably a package. Let's be real quiet and pretend we're not here. So I scrape, grab my moppy brush, clean off the excess with water and a paper towel. Just keep rotating through the panels. Just keep rotating through the panels. I would love it if Lando asked me to go on an adventure. I'd be 100% in on some Lando Calrissian adventure time. I 
That dude has the best cape in Star Wars, so... I'm a sucker for a good cape. That's what Hondo Inaka needs. It's just a dope cape. He's had to stole one at one point or another. All right, right there, there, right there. You can hear it. I use that metal, the twisty metal inside the brush to really get down and scrape the paint away. Right there. It's like a good itch on a kitty cat behind his ears. All right, we just keep moving down. Go all the way around, down to the next, next row of panels and scrape. I'm gonna get a little more aggressive on the inside. I feel like the the inside of the tentacles down here probably catch a lot of action. So they're gonna lose more paint. It's a little more silver showing through. Oh, Pyromancy Buffalo, I'll explain it. Get your pen and paper and let me know when you're ready. If everybody wants to know what we did, Grab your pen and paper, get ready to take notes. We're gonna go over it real quick right before, oh my gosh, we only got seven minutes. I can't be late today, my art boys, the art posse is waiting for me. I have to go approve arts, so can't be late. So let me know when you're ready and I'll go over the, I'll go over the process real quick for everybody in case you wanna know how this hairspray technique works and what exactly are we doing here? Go for it, he says. All right, so the very first step was I primed the miniature. I used a good, uh, good primer. Make it nice and uh, grippy for the paint. Second part, I used silver. I airbrushed my silver. You do not have to airbrush it. Um, but when the airbrush is out, you use it. And, it, and then I used dull coat and I sealed that silver paint on. And that's the important step there is you need that dull coat and you can just use, you know, famous brand dough coat that's, you know, accessible anywhere. Seal that paint in, get, get that paint sealed on. Next step, hairspray. And uh, I just used regular hairspray. As you can see, I, I need a lot of hairspray. Um, just use regular hairspray and put a nice coat of hairspray over the miniature. Then, this is the part you do need an airbrush for. Um, you apply an extremely thin coat of the color, your base color. So in this case, it was red now I did two layers I did a brown and then I hairsprayed again and I did red so what's happening here is because that the airbrush is mega thin use that water soaks through that super thin layer of, of red and brown and it reactivates the hairspray but because we sealed the silver, it doesn't, it doesn't reactivate that. So then I just use this nylon brush and I can scrape and it lets the paint come up, but doesn't pull up the silver 
and lets you get that weathering effect. This can be used on vehicles like the A5 or the LAT. Um, you can use it for lots of different things. I love it on terrain as well. Um, I would have gone through the whole process. Maybe sometime, maybe many extravaganza will go through the whole process. Um, you know, start to finish with the airbrush. It's a just a longer, longer than an hour process. So takes a bit. But the goal here, like I said, you can you can make layers of it. So you can do like multiple layers and get different effects. But the goal here is to get that sealed on color that you want to shine through and then the colors that you want to break up breaks up because of hairspray. Does that make sense? Yeah, it's a fun technique, uh, pyromancy. Um, I, I love it. Like I said, it's, it's great if you're working on an ATST, right? You can really beat up the, the feet. Give it a little scrape. You can see where it's... I'll let's, let's focus. So you can see where it's getting all scraped up. And then we're almost done. We only got a few more minutes. Thanks for hanging out. We love putting on these paint streams and talking hobby with everybody. Uh, and then I'm doing washes to like bring this back and then I'll do a dry brush. So I wanted a really, really beat up, rusty, crusty trident. Mine's not shelf. Mine's not, you know, mine didn't come off showroom floor. And then uh, I'm going to paint the, the glowy bits. I think, uh, I think I'm going to use like this fluoro green. So it'll be nice and... Maybe a little bit of this ink tense lime. So I think that's what these colors are going to be. Green and red, of course, are nice contrast and colors work very well together. So I think that's probably what I'm going to do. And I want to bring this engine back a little more silver, especially the drill bit. I really want that drill to be nice and silver. So let me kick it back over to the other side. This one. Thanks for hanging out. It's been a great, uh, great time painting up the Trident. Hopefully you learned something and you can go try it out. Um, you know, it's always fun to try a new paint technique. You can find more information about this. There's also the salt weathering that you can use it in combination with. Works better on bigger vehicles, not so much X-Wing, it's just a weird scale for it. Um, so maybe your A5 or your ATST. Uh, check out salt weathering. We'll do, we'll, we'll do that sometime too, John. Let's do a salt weathering. Like, I think we should put it in the queue, put it, in, put it on the list, put it on the list, add it to the list. Um, remember tomorrow, 1 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, as every Friday and Tuesday and Wednesday and Thursday, so every day but Monday, 1 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, join us here at Twitch for Atomic Mass Transmissions Live, where we hobby hang out and do some fun stuff. Sometimes we even play games. I played my first game of Legion, well, not my first game of Legion, my first live stream of Legion the other day and uh had a lot of fun i got to shoot luke skywalker off the board with a, a tx-130 it was awesome if you didn't catch that one you should check that out um tomorrow should be mr will shake painting up something awesome friday join mr john shaver he'll be painting something super awesome um like we do every time you know except for mondays we we'll take that day off for it but anyways we'll talk to you later have a great time keep painting and go be the hero we know you can be see you later bye guys Duh, 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 duh. I'm always looking for the standby button. That's not the one. I want the outro button. That's the one right there with all the information that you need. Damn.